What is up guys? Welcome back to Game Bird Classic. Today I wanted to take a moment and talk to you about the rumors slash leaks of a possible newer and more powerful Switch model. One that might be releasing within the first half of next year. So grab a change of pants and do a barrel roll because we're about to dig right in. <laughs> And real quick, one more thing before we get started. I just started streaming on Twitch, just getting set up. I don't have a set schedule yet, but I'm gonna drop a link in the description box below. So if you guys are interested in hanging out with me on Twitch, playing some games, you'll be able to. Now let's get started. Welcome to Game Bird Classic. So rumors of a more powerful Nintendo Switch are definitely not something new. In fact, we had rumors of a model like this before the Switch Lite was even announced. These were insiders talking about a portable only, more affordable Switch option, as well as some sort of more powerful Pro version or XL version, one of which came true in the form of the Switch Lite, and the other has still just been rumor. But talks of a more powerful Switch just never went away. And even though Nintendo said that they currently have no plans to announce any new Switch hardware, that doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen. That really could have meant a number of things, like they just didn't have any announcements for new hardware planned yet, or that they didn't have anything planned for that year specifically. It really wasn't a nail in the coffin for the idea of a Switch Pro. Well, these rumors really started heating up recently when Bloomberg came out with an article that stated this. Nintendo Company plans to debut an upgraded model of its Switch console next year, along with a lineup of new games, seeding 2020's holiday spotlight to rival devices from Sony Corp and Microsoft Corp. The specifications of the new machine have yet to be finalized, though the Kyoto-based company has looked into including more computing power and 4K high-definition graphics people briefed on the strategy told Bloomberg News, asking not to be identified because it's private. Nintendo faces stiff competition for gamers' attention this fall as the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are set to arrive in time for shopping season. The release of the upgraded Switch would be coupled with, or followed by, a slew of new games from Nintendo itself and related outside studios, the people said. Those games would address the wide range of players, from casual gamers seeking small doses of escapism to more devoted fans putting in marathon gaming sessions. The focus on next year's pipeline explains Nintendo's relatively quiet software release schedule so far this year, the people said. They even doubled down on this, claiming that Nintendo's been reaching out to developers, telling them to make sure that they're making games that are 4K ready. Now, there is no way that we're getting a Switch model that has native 4K. It's not gonna happen. But that doesn't mean that we're not gonna get a Switch model that upscales to 4K. That is something that is definitely possible. In fact, I recently did a video that discusses Nintendo's recent $800 million investment into research and development and NVIDIA's DLSS technology that's kind of like a more advanced and better version of upscaling that makes so much sense for either a Switch Pro or a Switch XL or even a Switch 2. I'm actually gonna leave a link in the description box below for you guys, that way you can check out that video that goes into more detail about NVIDIA's DLSS technology and the $800 million investment, that way you can watch that after this video. Now, I've been a strong believer in the Switch Pro model since the very beginning. That three-pillar strategy of Switch Lite, a regular Switch, and a Switch Pro just makes so much sense for Nintendo. It's a Nintendo move. Especially when you take into consideration how they handled previous handheld consoles, like the DS or the 3DS. Multiple models, the Lite versions, the XL versions. They even did a 2DS version of the 3DS that had no 2D at all. Crazy. Kind of like how they did with the Switch Lite, that has no hybrid capabilities. Hmm. I think it's safe to assume that the sequel to Breath of the Wild will be launching sometime next year, and I can't think of a better game to launch more powerful hardware next to, other than maybe Metroid Prime 4, but Metroid games aren't exactly system sellers, whereas Zelda definitely is. It's gonna be interesting to see how these leaks and rumors play out. And if they're true, we're gonna be hearing about it early next year, I'm sure. However, if we don't get an upgraded Switch in 2021, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we're gonna be waiting about two to three years for the Switch successor, the Switch 2, or whatever the follow-up is called. Because right now the Switch is printing money, and Nintendo doesn't need to be worried as Microsoft and Sony 
duke it out this holiday. But as time goes on, it's gonna become more and more difficult to convince developers to put third-party next-gen games on the Nintendo Switch. And if that's the case and we don't get a pro next year, I think the best way Nintendo can combat this is to continue to license out their IP to third parties for exclusives on the Nintendo Switch. Just like they did with Ubisoft with Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, as well as the Star Fox content that was exclusive to Starlink Battle for Atlas, there's also Kaui Tecmo who did Fire Emblem Warriors with them, as well as Hyrule Warriors, and the newly announced Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, a game that has Breath of the Wild fans beyond excited. I'll be doing a video on that very soon. But what do you guys think? Do you think we're gonna get a more powerful Switch next year, a Switch Pro or a Switch XL? Do you want one? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hit that like button if you did. Also, hit that subscription button and smash that notification bell so you can see when I upload next, and I'll see you all on the next Game Bird Classic. Peace. What are you doing? I still have tons more videos that you need to check out right now. You can start with this one or this one. Oh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.